Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Cynical, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's jump right on in from where we last saved. In the previous episode, we helped Sayori get some festive, um, festival um, equipment to make posters and all that other jazz for the festival. That's coming up pretty soon, I guess. And now we are ready to read uh, everyone's poems. Round two. So, without further ado, let's start. Um, let's go ahead and start with Natsuki this time. Yes, yes. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than the last one. But I can't really say it's any better, either. Ooh. Huh? Ooh, what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train work? I'll make it, I'll, I'll, I'll just take it as a win. I mean, come on, give me a win. Please, I need this. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> the new year has been awful. <laughs> Blizzard is all the yin yang. <laughs> and I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. H hey, what makes you? Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday! That's, um... Something tells me Natsuki completely missed a point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh, you think so? Yeah, well I guess if you've been friends with her so lo for so long, you might be on the same, um, wavelength? But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden. Well, I don't know. But honestly, how can someone so er, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's not like she's dragging around a dead weight. That was an insult, right? I feel like that was an insult, and I'm insulted, and I'm, 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 I'm gonna go cry in the corner. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was a little unnecessary. Aha! So it was. <laughs> but think of it this way: if it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away, like letting go of a balloon. You could say we, uh, well, each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Oh, god damn, it's long. Oh, god, round two is serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. That's a little bit harsh. Um, Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Wow, you are a horrible person. I just hope you get hurt. Not really. I'm sorry for saying that. What the fuck is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a demon! What? Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The better the world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. Okay. Lots of problems here. Um, first of all, Natsuki, you're a horrible person. Um second of all, you're gross, not her. Um third of all, um, 
I feel like I'm repeating myself, but you're a horrible person, and uh, you should go away. Bye-bye. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. Oh, and uh, fourth of all, that was not a poem. That was just you complaining about someone that you know. Uh, so yeah, that poem. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Now that you're a horrible bitch. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Although that was me, my deeper voice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. The demon woke up in me. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with such simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Oh, so you realized it. Oh, okay, so you realized you're a horrible person. Okay, great. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It could be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out. They'll make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid! Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? That, okay, that was not the message you were pointing across in your poem there. You made her seem like she was a nasty, gross person. And that's why you wouldn't be friends with her. That was the message going across your poem there, not what you're spouting out right now. You're just trying to make yourself look good. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. Yeah, she is right, but she's lying to herself. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I don't... What? <laughs> but I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that! I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. That was a mess. That was a mess. I need I need a cutesy thing right now. Sorry, you're up. Okay, why why the dots? Why why? Cynical? I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Eh? I'm not hiding anything. But but your poems are so good! Yesterday's in this one too! You can't tell me you haven't done this before! I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Eh? No way! Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What? What do you mean? Well... I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Swag. Mr. Swag is here. Yeah, baby. Oh, getting jiggity with the ladies. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Continuing on. What, 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 what? Stop thinking weird things, idiot. <laughs> I just mean that you're a really... Expressive person, I guess. How else am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life, like, I don't know, an adventure. Even the little things, like, what the hell? Like cooking! Let's not talk about that! <laughs> so, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I've, I, I can feel more feelings through you than I can, I don't know through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. 
It's your fault for getting in my business all the damn time. Eh? I don't know if I understand. Ugh. You never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? I pat Sayori's head. <laughs> hey! I'm not kidding, you know. Are you sure about that? Hmm, maybe. Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. It's getting creepy. Can we end this, please? Hey, cynical? Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> hey, Sayori, you completely misunderstood. <laughs> I didn't write this for you. <laughs> oh, God, she's broken. She's broken, everyone. Don't forget your cover. Oh, my God. No. What? Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah! Uh, I broke my pencil. Sorry, hastily bends down to pick up the piece that she dropped. God damn! She broke a goddamn pencil? With one hand or two. Because if she did with one hand, she got that fingertip strength. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> but being inattentive to her surroundings, she bumps right into me. Oh, god damn, why? S -s -s Sorry! It's fine, it's fine. God damn it. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk beside her to support herself, knees shaking. I I I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's just sit down, Sayori, before you break any other bones in my body, okay? E e yeah. I grab Zori's arms and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh! Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry about it. Just give it already. I'm sure I'll like it. Holy fuck my ass and hurry up. What? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Getting ready. Bottles! I pop off my scalp like the li- Okay, wait. What the fuck did I just read in that one line? I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. Oh my... I'm gonna throw up. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. I was not expecting Sayori to make a creepy, creepy poem. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm actually fucking scared. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Outlast has nothing on this. <laughs> my collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend at the friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Oh god, I just want to gag it. Oh my god. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. Okay. 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 If I, if I leave this poem and she starts glitching out, I'm going to run for my life. I blow dust off my bottle caps. Oh god, I I really am gonna gag. <laughs> I don't know why. Just imagining it in my fucking head. Oh my god, I have the imagination. <laughs> Let me tell you. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm re oh, okay. I'm just gonna continue. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. Oh god. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. 
do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo in my head. Don't. Don't. Okay, good. Oh, God. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write this best poem ever? Yeah. But... <laughs> it's going to give me nightmares. Digging into your scalp, what the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole- Oh my god, Monica, you bitch. Monica, you son of- Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Monica told me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. Oh my gosh, she's getting to everyone. She's a real demon in this one. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Like, between level 1 and 10 of creepiness. Yeah, your old poem. Level 12. It went past the border of level 10, okay? Okay, just letting you know. C creepy Well, not exactly. I mean, maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing is the best! I want to keep writing until I die. Okay, you had to say that, didn't you? You had to say that. You had to! <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had the habit of getting obsessed with something. Before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those things. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be... Eh, pessimistic. Pessimistic. Who should I show my poem to next? Maraka, you got some explaining to do, and I'm going to do you last. So, Yuri, you're up. Let's see what you've written for today. Hmm. Well done, Cynical. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that really means a lot. Eh? It's nothing. I, I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel Perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like tur turning a bunch of gears. What? Anyway. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. And write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's a, uh, that's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and uh, timidly hands me her poem. All right. I like her handwriting, too. Nice. Nice. All right. 
a long one again. And I'm guessing uh, Monica's um, will be about three pages long. Uh, I only expect that because, yes, uh, well, the last poem I read was already two pages long. So uh. Anyway, the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. Ah, midnight snack, eh? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bread, though, it's that's not bad. I mean, healthier than other things. Anyway, my attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies of... No, not of, as an unordinary human. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, that was weird. I'm so sorry. I, I'm just going to continue one. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Wait, what the? F don't, don't, don't start. Don't, don't, please. Don't. 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 The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. Don't. Don't. Just don't. 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 I, I don't want to continue. I, I really don't want to continue. Fuck. Ugh, okay. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Okay, so far so good. Don't. Just don't. My raccoon has taken... That... Not my raccoon. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic. What is that word? Halloween conditioning, I guess. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Did she kill the fucking thing? I feel like that last line confirms it. I don't know why. But I'm getting out of this. You fucking creeped me out with your animal thing there and um, the whole excitement over the knife and the animal. And uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I love you, Yuri, but creeping me out here. All of you have been creeping me out except for Natsuki. She didn't creep me out. Kind of. Not as much as the others so far. Anyway, I'm continuing. Uh, um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a little more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery. Yes. Anchoring emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, well I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Unusual hobbies? That involve animals? That's not fucking creepy at all. And I'm I'm seriously gonna gag. Oh god. Okay, anyway. It's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Hmm? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Oh, is she Amy? Okay, using a false name. Okay, I got it, I got it. So wait, they know? Oh my god, it's a psycho group. 
I gotta get the fuck out of here. Eh. She... She did. Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She... She's right. I, I mean... Does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's... Well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, pl please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry. I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, here we go. Monica. Day one of her poems was creepy enough. Now day two, everyone's poems are creepy. Except for Sayori's, thank God. Um, uh, But uh, I'll wait. No. No, her poem was creepy. Yeah, it was Natsuki's poem that wasn't that creepy, right? Okay, never mind. Everyone's fucking poem is crazy. And I know Monica's is gonna be double crazy. So let's get into it. Hi, crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hi. Hi, kids, to the girl. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right, it's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori, like the other one you, that you wrote the just yesterday. Yeah. You two are like a, a dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I, I, I'm, I'm not shy. It's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it makes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, 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 don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like, I, I, I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. <laughs> I'm actually fucking freaked out for this one. All right, let's take a look. Okay. Yep, save me. Okay. <sighs> okay. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sign, cosine, tangent, like playing a, ch playing a chalkboard on a what was that? I thought I saw something in the corner, but anyway, on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. What? What? What do you mean, load me? Um, what? Save me? Load me. Fucking Christ, I scared me! I'm actually so freaked out that I right clicked the mouse and she popped up and oh my god that fucking scared me to no end okay I can't I can't save this part I, there's no save button so I can't 
I thought that was a hint, like, save me, like, save right now, and then load it after to, like, get a secret message between here and there. But nope. Okay, let's go. But I will save right here from then. Maybe it, it was telling me to save right fucking now when you leave the poem. Maybe. I don't know. Shit, but I am so fucking terrified. <laughs> I have no idea why I have to be. It's not like anything is going to pop out through the fucking screen. But <laughs> uh, just be crazy. What? Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. You're telling me. It's almost like magic! Yeah, magic, yeah, how oh, good. <laughs> the way I write my the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Please don't hurt me. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway. God damn it, stop moving your hands. It's creeping me out. Here's Madoka's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh my god. <sighs> Okay. Fourth wall breaking, that's fine. Um, I already saved though, and um, yeah. It's basically giving you a second warning of save your game right fucking now before something happens. And I already did, so we're good. <laughs> oh god, help. Even you, you never know when you might change your mind. <laughs> or when something unexpected may happen. Wait. Is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. This is about the festival. Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sari has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I, f I, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P uh, M Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I am going to perform in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. 
Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys? No, Sayori. I under- Oh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Double click. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask of them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings! Being intimate with yourself. Wait, what? Finding new horizons! And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the, the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Goddamn, that was a fucking mouthful. Oh my god. Cynical, speak up once in a while, would ya? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need breaks. Stop it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's that much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit, right? Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Whew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Uh oh Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Ah, <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Don't fucking joke about that, please. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose poems of your uh, of yours. Wait, what the fuck did I just read? I don't know. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. There we go. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, no, no way! Monica! This is too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of the strangers? Oh no. Don't worry! I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That? That was so good, Monica! <laughs> uh, th thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayuri? I I'll go next! Oh, Yuri! Hmm, alright. Wow, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. 
keeping her head down, she walks quietly, not quietly, quickly, over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's, it's, it's called... After image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. After a moment ago, just a moment ago, just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllabus of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into a whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start plotting. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition, recognition she deserves. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were cut off. So, we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her, into her seat. Yuri, that was so good! Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayuri so hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to, ev to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayuri begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayuri is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayuri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayuri meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> even Sidika liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. <laughs> Don't make me go before cynical. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let cynical lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. That's okay. It's fine, that's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up instead of front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put it, put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry I'm not really good as, well, everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. 
I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll prove over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then! That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Well, why are you all looking at me? Oh, God. She's falling hard. Okay. Because you're presenting and that was Monica, not me. But it felt like it was me. <laughs> anyway. Because you're presenting... <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Okay. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You... You better not make me do that again. <laughs> well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put... God damn it, stop clicking early! I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing! That's a surprise, Datsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what's what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you are putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me feel really happy. And she's whipping her hair in Natsuki's face. I love it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day! I can't wait! I... I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There is no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Oh wait, what the fuck? No, that's me saying it. <laughs> Ready to go, Sayori. Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well... Ah. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Cynical. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Sari once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already had changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori? Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um... I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... Uh, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one today, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me in the spot here, but come on, man! Oh, girl. <laughs> Not man. <laughs> Well... Oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> but like a word to me. I'm saving, bitch. I don't care what you say. I'm saving. Wait. No, I don't want to overwrite. I would walk home with Yuri. I would still walk home with Sayori. Sayori, babe. I love you at all. But I love Yuri a little bit more. I don't know why. I just have a connection with her. So I'm going with Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. There, there, there's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori. I... I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The, conversa the conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I just can't... I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. I feel like that was the choice where, uh, you know, what happens in the next day. Who gives me the most creepiest of poems? Since I chose Yuri, I think Sayori is going to give me the creepiest poem. If I pick Sayori, Yuri was going to give me the creepiest poem. Oh god, and I didn't like her poem about the head and the scalp and the thing. Oh my god, no, no. no it's going to be worse than that. Oh god, no. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do this um, real quick. Um, Kawaii! Uh... Bunny, Marshmallow, Love, Forgive, Pleasure, Sunny, Valentine, Extreme, Determination, Vivid, Tragedy, Shit, why did I choose that? I don't know, Rainbow, Analysis, Family, Secretive, Cheer, Spinning, Sensation, Feather, oh, that was 20 already, god damn, I worked fast, oh, wait, god damn it, don't, don't do that, don't, nope, save, save, <laughs> okay, well, everyone, that's where I'm going to leave it off for today. Um, uh, please like the video and comment down below if you agree that this was freaking creepy. And um, <laughs> yeah, please uh, share the video as well. And um, subscribe if you, if you would like to see more. I will try to get these up in a daily basis. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you all next time. See you then. Bye-bye.